Okay, let's give this one a try. So first thing I'm thinking of is the basic shapes. I'm seeing like a, a shape like this, and then I'm seeing an oval like this. A couple small shapes for the ears sticking out. The eyes will be in this area, and that's my sketch. Okay. I'm going to start with the corner of the eye, and it appears it's kind of it's kind of have a heavy lid, and it's maybe tilted down a tiny bit. I'm drawing the iris, a little highlight, and a dot for the pupil. He's got some eyelash, eyelashes on his underneath eyelid, so just add a few of those. And now the eyebrow. He has a thick eyebrow that curves around. So I'm just going to stylize it and curve it around like this. And then draw some hairs on there to just kind of show the direction of the hair. I found this guy doing videos on YouTube. I think his name is Scott Christian Sava. Looks like he's mostly doing watercolor, but his videos inspired me, so I'm going to do this cool drawing of him. It's sort of a caricature cartoon portrait. Drawing the eye on the other side, a couple of lashes. Get the iris, highlight, pupil, eyebrow. I'm looking at the shape of it. I'm thinking that it's thick. It's a lot thicker than mine, and it curves around like that. So just doing a couple of lines that gives me a path to draw in and then I'm going to fill it in with the eyebrow hairs okay now interesting glasses We've got the bridge of the glasses and then a very rounded circular lens of the glasses and so let's just make it even more circular Same on the other side. Frames. Okay, now I'm going to start with a little bridge of the nose there, a line to indicate the nose. Now, noticing the nose, uh, the tip of the nose, it has a little bulb that is turned down. The nostril is popping out from beneath that. It's sort of facing forward. It's not as turned down as the tip is. So I'm just trying to draw it with as few lines as possible. Okay. Now for the mouth part. Let's see. We've got a interesting shape the mustache so instead of just drawing the mouth I'm gonna start off just draw the mustache shape and then we're gonna fill it in with some hairs we don't want them to be perfectly equal so I'm kinda of mixing it up Now the mouth kind of has a sort of thick bottom lip. The teeth. All right, and we've got some hairs on that side. Now. I think it's time to get out my big marker. This is a Tombow brush pen. There's links in the description if you want to 
read more about this on Amazon or buy some. Okay, now I'm gonna just draw the chin shape. I'm just breaking loose a couple of hairs here just to show that this is a beard and I'm gonna put some lines in to fill it in a little bit later. ears. Sometimes I'll, I'll look at the top of the ear and I'll draw an imaginary line across the eyes and I see where does it line up. So it's in the, somewhere in this area. So I don't want to draw it too high or too low. I'm seeing some angles in the ears so I'm kind of emphasizing that. This side is a little different. Okay, now the, the beret. This is always fun to draw. A front view of it is the most difficult way to draw it. Let's see what we can do. I'm trying to get it with one smooth line. That is the, the brim of the beret. We can even darken this a little as a shadow. This is where it's going around the back of the head. On the top, I'm seeing these angles. Okay, now we've got a fold in. Let's use my small, the small side of this marker, and the fold looks sort of like this. And that is the break. Now we're just going to suggest the neck and the collar. Okay, now back to using the small side of my marker. We're going to finish the beard. Just drawing lines to show where the beard is, how the hairs are flowing in the beard. Because sometimes a beard, the hairs will flow out in weird directions, and if you can get that in the drawing, it actually adds to the likeness. All right, so that is my quick sketch of Scott Christian Sava, who does awesome watercolor videos and let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time.